Hello everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, with keto way under 20 today. In fact, it's way under 10 today. So, when I say it's under something, I mean carbohydrates. And that is going to be the focus of this little video. Carb creep. Oh yes, indeed, in the warmer months, with all these social gatherings and even eating at home, it can be carb creep, and that is not a good thing. And unless you're way out of the woods, and I'm not even way out of the woods, I don't know what way out of the woods is with putting on weight and getting into the dangerous slippery slope of things. I don't know, we need to stay away from those things. And they are pernicious in the summer. I can just tell. I'm. <laughs> I'm seeing with people's foods and how they talk that they're allowing a lot of things that wouldn't be heard of in the winter or the cooler months. And so we need to be careful, especially at those kind of cookouts. And, you know, when it first comes to mind, you think of something that's cooked on the grill that's put between two pieces of it or something like that. No, I'm talking about, you know, veggies that have a lot of carbs. I'm talking about letting even the berries back in and having them and considering them like, you know, a nice treat because it's the warmer months and um, for hunter gatherers, this was the time that the berry trees rendered their fruit, but then you start getting fancy with them and may maybe making them into a parfait with a, a lot of whipped cream or something like that. And then it ends up into a dessert and what do desserts do? Well, desserts to me kick in my addiction because if I had one, then I would be, well, where is it today? I had it yesterday. Can't I have it every day? That's what happened to me when I first went low carb, high fat with fat bombs. You know, I started like building it, them into my menu like, like I do my salads. <laughs> it's like, you know, I was having them three nights a week and then instead it was four nights a week. And then, well, that's how my food addiction became a food addiction. And that's how... I ended up doing low carb, high fat when I gave up the sugars and the grains because I turned a, a weekly treat into a two night a week treat into a three night a week treat. And I know that people do that in AA. I'm only going to drink on weekends. Well, every weekend's a long weekend. <laughs> it begins either on Friday or, or um, ends on Monday, right? And then all of a sudden it's Thursday night. Well, tomorrow's my drinking day anyway. Yeah, I've heard that for years in AA. And I've seen it for years in myself with my own journey. And now I see it here. You know, people are ketofying things right out of the gate. And you've already heard my rants on that. So I won't, I won't bother you with that again. But carb creep. Okay. This is my chronometer for the day. And this is what I'm having. My calories are 1,393 calories. My protein is 27, my carbs are 8.8, .8, and my fats are 135. So I am very happy with those things. And I'm having a big green leafy. And, oh, yeah, what am I having? I know I made a cheeseburger soup, my version of it, because I don't like condiments, so it doesn't have the mustard and the relish and all that kind of stuff on it. So, um, yeah. So the, the cheeseburger soup, I put it in my um, chronometer recipe file. And um, so that works. I'm also having 60 grams of asparagus and they're the skinny ones. So they're like eight or nine of them. And into my great big green leafy, I'm having 40 grams of watercress, 40 grams of arugula, 40 grams of baby spinach, 40 grams of Olivia's organic spring mix. And... Um, three tablespoons of oils, half macadamia nut and half extra virgin olive oil. Is my food plan boring? Well, it could be to some people, but to me, it rocks and, um, and I totally love it. So I just worked three overnights in a row, had last night off, so I got nine hours sleep, that worked. And then um, I go in tonight. And tonight, um, I will have people that have been uh, left over from... Uh, Friday if they were rested and they couldn't get bailed and it's like five days later it's just one of those long weekend things so um 
be happy if you're out and you're reading this on some sort of electronic device. It sure beats, <laughs> it sure beats a weekend in a jail cell. Even if the weather's lousy, I'll take lousy weather on this side of the, on this side of the um, cell. So with carb creep, um, I remember I went to one Weight Watchers meeting face-to-face -face only, and then I did it online for something like 18 months. So uh, the woman, the leader, had a whiteboard, and on it she had all of the typical things that you might partake in at um, a cookout. And it was, of course, it was back then it was smart points. And so she had listed, you know, I don't have to say the names, but you know the typical things that you would find there. And it was well more, uh, a lot more than what the daily smart point values were for most people sitting in the meeting. And that's how it would be for us. In fact, one, um, one item that I do miss, I do miss in the summer, um, would take care of all of my carbs for the day. And um, it's too bad, isn't it? You know, we do, I don't like having to give up a couple of things, but I don't miss them enough to want to wreck what I've got. I don't miss them enough to want to have them to give up what I've got. The reason I said it twice is because sometimes we need to remind ourselves because we're, when we're in that field of people that don't pay attention to things like um, carbs or sugar or alcohol it's and, and they eat um, like regular table salt and have lots of diet sodas or maybe the real deal or the adult beverages, you know, nobody's paying any attention. And it's like, wow, it's so funny. I have spent months doing this keto food plan, either strict or lazy or um, loosey goosey or tracked or not tracked weight or not weight or I only count carbs or I only do it, whatever, whatever, whatever. You have put some intention into what you're having and all these people around you are eating like there's no tomorrow. And it's like either how do they stay skinny or how do their doctors, I mean, what kind of meds are they on for, it looks like, you know, the pending um, health issues. And it's always so amazing. And we don't see them that often. So when we do, there's either a shock value of, hey, you look great, what happened? Well, I had a heart attack and now I can't eat such and such. I can't drink and I, it's like, oh, that's a way to get healthy, huh? Um, so I spent the weekend listening to, because I had lots of nights, I, I listened to Scott the Truck Driver and his series, although it's not supposed to be a series, but it kind of is, from his Yup, I Sucked to um, the different addictions to um, alcohol and addiction series and um, very interesting. So then uh, who else? Oh, wow, I listened to a lot of them too. And it's like, mm, memory, where is it? More, more bulletproof coffee, please. So it was good. Um, I listened and um, when I don't have to answer comments that happen after I post a video Monday through Friday, it's good because I can do my catching up while there and um, you know, people sporadically comment, but it's not like posting a new video. And, um, and then um, I got a few new clients over uh, the holiday weekend too. So I've been busy establishing their setup, be it, um, you know, however they're going to manage their, their keto program. And so I try to meet them where they're at and that's how we roll. But ideally, um, you know, I pull a lot of people over here and um, into the, <clears throat> the world of permission to eat fat. <laughs> and it works. Um, oh yeah, Kelly, Kelly Gitter Dunn, um, she had her third ketoversary. And so I, I watched her, listened to her, congratulated her. Um, Michelle Rock had a video. I watched that, caught up on that. I love to watch how she prepare, prepares food. Nobody quite does it like her. So, um, yeah, so I put together, um, we went to Market Basket yesterday morning. So I was able to put together the foods that um, we'll be having for the week. I think I'm going to have a couple of uh, really big A salads with the bacon and the jumbo organic hard boiled eggs cooked and chopped up in it. Um, and um, 
yeah, it just works. We did the big green egg yesterday, so we cooked um, some beef for the rest of the week. That worked too, and then the veggies. So it, it's a good thing. I've got it all planned, and it doesn't um, it doesn't have anything different than any other week in my food plan. It's just the usuals, which you know you see when you see them, and um, the incredible keto pizza on Saturday night, the big green egg on Sunday with the um, ribeye and the uh, collie crumbles, asparagus and Brussels sprouts, and then the Monday through Friday stuff, which is great big salads, a little bit of protein, the cheeseburger soup tonight, Taco Tuesday, you know, same pork chops <laughs> or a pork chop. Um, so it's the same old, same old for uh, Sarah here on Cape Cod. And I try to keep my carbs you know, I, I, I think I found the formula definitely that works for me. And I try to um, encourage my older female metabolisms <laughs> to, to do the same thing, which is a rather, it's a low moderate protein. It is a lower than 20 carbs, like around 15. And then the fats are 100, and, 100 to 140. Sometimes they're as high as 145. And um, it seems to work for a lot of us. And I love the feeling of, of how I feel. It just, it just makes me feel good. I have one and a half bulletproof coffees, the half meaning that the second one's modified. It has less fats in it. And that's what I have to carry me through the day. So when I got up today at four, I, I've had my bulletproof coffee number one. Actually, I have a little more to go. And then uh, later on today, I will have my second one. And then the meal of the day, OMAD, one meal a day, will happen at three. And because uh, I work at five, but boy, man, I work at midnight. Um, having my OMAD between three and four really makes my, just my whole body feel better. There's a few hours before I go to bed where it's had a chance to digest the fats that I have the um, and the the leafy green, I think those two things, the volume plus the fat, just keeps me happy. I usually put butter in my soup. I usually put butter on my meat if I'm having like the, the steak or the uh, pork chop. Um, the taco salad, I put avocado oil over it along with the avocado that I slice on it, along with the guacamole um, sabra mini. That I put on it. So I get loads of fat and that seems to carry me through till the bulletproof coffee, <clears throat> the half a bulletproof coffee the next day, and then the OMAD. And it's just a nice flowing pattern. There's no ups, there's no downs, there's no oops, there's no I have to make up for it. Oops, I forgot to track. Oops, I'm not going to measure. Yeah, this looks like, you know, a pat of butter. This looks like five ounces of burger. This looks like I don't do the, this looks like, um, and if I do, I don't know. I mean, even my, even my uh, bulletproof coffee is measured in the Nutribullet thing. You know, I put it on the scale and weigh the heavy whipping cream, weigh the ounce of like uh, cashew milk. Everything is weighed and measured and it just keeps me honest, consistent, structured, I know. If there's a weight fluctuation, which some of you saw a few weeks ago, out of nowhere came two pounds and, you know, did I do anything different the week before? No. Did I do anything different after I weighed myself? No, I didn't do any drastic measures. I didn't take any laxatives. I didn't, you know, cut out. The first thing that usually, especially older women, we cut out is the fat. Oh, horrors. Oh. And, and it's like, that's the last thing that you need to cut out. What you need to cut out, carbs. You want to see the scale move carbs with a little shaving of the protein too. And guess what? At the end of the day, on your weigh-in day, it all works. So have a wonderful day, my pickles. I'm so glad, and snowflakes and turtles. I'm so glad you joined me. I will see you the next time here on Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto. Under 20. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.